Hello and welcome to Mike's Garage. If you've already subscribed, thank you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And when you do, please be sure and tap the little notification bell and you'll be notified every time we put up a new video. If you tap the little like button, we appreciate that too. Okay, I'm feeling a little neglectful and I'm sorry for that, but I've been real busy. And I keep trying to figure out how to make videos with good content, things you'd like to see. And then I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to have to just show what's hanging me up, all the things that I'm trying to get done so I can get on to the next stages on our build with the, with the flathead and other things we're doing. Uh, one of the things I'm doing is I got the heads redone, my STD heads that a lot of people have asked questions about. And in an upcoming video, we'll show you all the work we've had done to them and they're, they're pretty neat. But to get back on what we're doing now, I've been trying to get a top end ready to go to Dave Mackey Engineering and have it all done so I can put it in my buddy Jim's bike. Well, plans don't always go the way you'd like them to. And the heads I took them that I had bought at the swap meet and then painted and prepped all ready to go were absolutely beautiful and we were ready to get them all done with all the porting and all the trick stuff. And they measured them and someone has milled them 60 thousandths. Well, milling a pair of Evolution Head 60 thousandths will raise the compression ratio about half a point, which is fine if you're working with a basically stock motor. But with this whole operation that we're doing with pistons and everything else, those heads couldn't be used for the job we're doing. So we found another pair of heads. Well, the pair of heads we found is this pair here, and they are beautiful, very low mileage evolution heads, 97s, which is just like we wanted for the bike we're doing. The only thing is, Jim said, I really don't want the raw fins. I like the original black textured finish, but I don't like the raw fins. So if you paint the barrels with the textured finish, okay, Jim, I can do that. And you just paint the fins on the heads, I'd like that. Because the paint on these heads was already the original, beautiful textured paint. So I thought about it for days. <clears throat> and I finally went to the Harley dealership and I got their textured paint that was used on the heads at the factory. I bought a can of it. It wasn't cheap. And I got to tell you, it's really nice stuff. So what I'm doing is the heads were raw all here on the fins and I've been painting them black. Now the way I do it, because I'm not blasting and redoing the heads in their entirety, all I'm doing is blackening where the raw fins were. So what I did is I, sanded it real nice, give it a little bit of a tooth, and the paint says it's for putting right over raw aluminum. So what I'm doing, it's almost done. I'm just not happy with it. It's not, I'm not happy with it yet. It's not quite as nice as I want it. So what I did was I sanded them and I heated them with a heat gun and I painted them and then I let them dry for about half an hour and then I hit them with a the heat gun again and it's coming out real nice but I'd like it on there just a little bit heavier and I know I get a lot of questions on my paintwork some of the stuff I do but this is coming out exactly like I want it to it's just not quite there yet so what I'm doing is I'm heating it up. This is going to look real primitive, folks, so get ready. It's nice and warm now. This is about a 1500 watt heat gun that a friend of mine used for painting and God knows what all. 
In fact, I had a neighbor with a leaky roof that used to borrow this heat gun to dry her carpet every time it rained. <laughs> Sorry to bother you, Mike, but can I borrow your heat gun? It rained last night. Okay. Okay, so there it is, nice and warm. And I just took a spray can. You can see I did it. And I sprayed a little bit of this paint. And this is Harley's Texture Black. Again, the same paint that was put on these heads at the factory. It's not wrinkle, it's texture. So I feel the only way I can really match paint is to use the paint. And all this is, is a Q-tip. Of course, that's a brand. This is a cotton swab. And all I'm doing is putting a couple of layers on it. Get it good and wet. All the way around the corner here. But right now I'm on this one fin. I'm doing them one at a time. And then again, I'll heat them up good and they will texture. Now, at the same time I'm doing this, I can also touch up any little spots. Now, they do have touch-up paint for this, but since I'm going to have to paint the cylinders, I just bought one spray can. was not cheap. Okay, there is that fin. Now we'll do the next one up. Now remember, these fins were raw on the edge here. So, so I prefer to load quite a bit of paint on them. And then by doing it, heating it up with a heat gun, you're doing about the same thing that I do in the oven. Not really worried about this, it won't show. Let's see here in the in between the fins, if I see any little marks, I just kind of swab it in there. It's amazing how well this paint really matches. But it really does. So I'm just going to keep doing this here for a few minutes. Doesn't take very long. I'm going to be sure I get all the way around the side here. Get it painted. I'm sure the factory does it electrically. Oh, that took it right off. When it gets a little bit tacky, you can just load it right on top of it. No, this is just peeling right here. Okay.
and right down here on these. I'll come back later and hit that one again. Now, as soon as this stuff gets good and tacky, then I can hit it with a heat gun again, and it really sticks. All right, that's one side there. And I can do the next side and the next side and get it done. And these heads will be pretty and they'll come back and we'll show the whole insides of them when they come back. The chambers will be reshaped. Uh, it'll have new racing valves and guides and all the neat stuff. They'll be pretty wonderful. And these are going on a 4 and 5 A stroker motor evolution, so it'll be pretty neat. Um, I also wanted to mention, again, those STD heads. Uh, Dave Mackey Engineering went over them, found the errors that were in them. The errors were mine. This is going to be pretty interesting. I can say, hey, I overlooked something, but that's what's going to happen, so... I'll be showing those when I get ready to put them on. Uh, tomorrow is Monday. I will make up my parts list. Tuesday, I will take it to the shop. I will get my stuff and be able to put my shovel head back together again. So please come along for that little trip. It's going to be, it's going to be fun. So that's about it for now. I just, wanted to, I just wanted to check in with everybody and say what's going on. So that pretty well does it for now. Uh, baby doll is up and running, the knuckles up and running, so I'll see you out on the road.